Hey guys, it's Nicole from ConvertKit. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create a form. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on the forms page. This is the landing page when you log into ConvertKit, um, but you can also get there by clicking forms up here at the top. You'll see your dashboard of your most recent subscribers and you can tell um, like what form they came in on, which is pretty nice. And then you'll see all your forms listed here. So if you want to create a new form, you can click create form right here. The first thing it's going to ask you is if you want to create a form that you can embed in your website or a landing page that is going to be fully hosted by ConvertKit. So for today, we're just going to create a form. Then it's going to ask you what form style you want to start with. So we have three form styles, minimal, which is only going to allow you to collect the email address. Um, it's also going to be really focused on that opt-in box. We have our full, which is going to allow you to add images, um, a little more description of what your um, lead magnet is. Or we have our naked, which is just simply first name, email address, and the subscribe button. So today I'm going to choose the full option. So now you're going to be taken to the content editor. Um, this is allows you to edit pretty much all the fields here, including the button. You can also even edit these um, and add an image. So that's the first thing it does. And um, so you want to create a really compelling headline like and talk about what you're offering in exchange for your subscribers email address. So let's say we're giving away an ebook. So you can create your headline. You can even talk about um, what kind of benefits your ebook is going to provide to your subscribers. Um, so maybe in this ebook, you'll learn, and we'll do a couple bullets or something. And this is fully editable um, and customizable with HTML. So you can add in lists or bold or add an image here too if you'd like. And again, you can customize this spam text. You can customize this um, subscribe button. So maybe you want to say, send me my book, send me my ebook. And you can even change the color. So you'll notice this little magic wand button right up here between subscribers and save. If you click that, you are able to change the color of the text. You can change the accent color, which is this right here and you can change the button color. All right, so we'll save those settings. And now we'll go into settings. You can see kind of the back end of your form. So the first thing you'll be brought to is the main settings page. Um, this is where you can edit the name. So I'm saying my ebook form. You can even at any point change your form um, from a form to a landing page. Although um, just note that if you do, you will lose some of your copy and your um, change and it'll override some of the settings you may have done. So just be really careful with that option. You can also edit um, a success message. So what it'll say when someone opts into your form, um, it'll say success and you can sit, maybe ask them to check their, make sure they whitelist your email, something like that. You can also redirect to a completely custom thank you page um, where you can go over any instructions you wanted to do. And if you wanted to uh, connect a form to your course, you would do, or to your form, if you wanted to connect a course to your form, you would do that right here. We'll also go into incentive email. So this is the way that we deliver your lead magnet. So in this case, it's an ebook. So this would come in the incentive email. And our incentive email is also a double opt-in process. So basically they are confirming their subscription and they're getting the free ebook or whatever lead magnet you would, would like to give away um, all at the same time. So this helps keep your list really clean, um, makes sure that if you ever have any spam subscribers, that uh, they would have to click this button again, which they probably wouldn't do. So that keeps your list really um, clean and make sure you're sending to good email addresses. You can also turn this option off at any time. Um, if you wanna just 
not send the incentive email at all and have a single opt-in process, you can de-check that box. If you still wanna deliver your lead magnet, um, you wanna make sure they get the ebook, but you want them to be automatically confirmed, you can check this button right down here. And you'll see that the subject of this message, the message itself, and the button are all completely customizable. And you can edit, so you can upload a file by clicking here. This will pull up your downloads option. Or you can just put in a link here. So we, by default, we have a confirmed subscription link, um, but you can change that to something else if you'd like to. In the style tab, you can switch it um, between those other two styles you saw before, the minimal and the naked. You can also change the way that you display your form. So inline is going to be embedded in a page or a blog post or something like that. A modal is a pop-up, um, so that is going to allow you to do a pop-up. And if you select this, you'll see some more options that you can even trigger your pop-up with a link. So you can follow those instructions there. You can also do a slide in. Um, so you can have this form slide in if it's been a certain time on your page or if they've scrolled a certain percentage of your page. You can even change the display settings. So this right down here says show on all devices. So you could make it mobile or desktop only. And you can make sure that the same visitor doesn't see it again for a certain number of times. So the default is 15 days, but you can change that. You can also add custom CSS um, to your forms if you want to customize it a little bit beyond what you can do within ConvertKit. But we only recommend you do that um, if you know, if you're comfortable with CSS and you know what you're doing. We also have this super cool feature down here where you can change the way that the form displays based on people who are already on your list. So if you have some, a subscriber and you don't want to keep asking them to download the ebook when they've done it already, you can hide the form completely or you can change and add custom content. So you can maybe encourage them to buy your product instead since they're already on your list. Um, you can do make some really cool display options with your form. The embed tab, this is how you're going to embed your form onto a page. So you can use the JavaScript with just one line and you can place this anywhere on your page, um, wherever you would like it to be. Or you can do um, the raw HTML and you can make some customizations here as well. Twitter cards, you can set up a Twitter card. Um, we have a video on our knowledge base that'll walk you through this process, but these are the, this is the information you'll need to create your Twitter card. And then lastly, other options. You can duplicate your form, which will make it exactly the same from the content to the settings. You can archive your form, um, so you can just hide it and save it for later, but it'd still be available. Or you can delete your form completely. Um, which will delete everything. So if you're not sure you want to delete it, we would recommend archiving it instead so it's available again. The last thing I want to go over is the subscribers tab. So at any time you can see who has subscribed to this form. Um, you can even see visitors so it'll tell you where people are coming from. You can set up your own campaigns. Um, so you can measure exactly where those subscribers are coming from and designate a name. Um, so you can maybe you can share your referral links with friends and measure who's sending you the most visitors. And you can see how, how that converted. So if you click actually this number of subscribers, it'll give you a list. Um, obviously there's no one in here right now, but your subscribers would all show up here. So you could see exactly who and how many people have subscribed to this form. So that's it, that's how you create a form within ConvertKit. Um, if there's anything that I missed in this video or you have any further questions, you can feel free to email at support at convertkit.com.